Hello everyone and welcome to a very festive episode of the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I am your host, Scott Fry, and today on the show we're going to be talking about oral hygiene and tooth sensitivity. Specifically, how to properly brush your teeth and use mouthwashes to keep your teeth from becoming sensitive in the first place. And with this topic, there are three very important points that you need to remember. Number one, engage in low abrasive toothbrushing. And what this means is that you should use a soft bristled toothbrush like your dentist normally recommends. And with, with that toothbrush, you should use a low abrasive toothpaste that should contain fluoride and preferably even a desensitizing agent. A lot of these whitening toothpastes out there are packed full of heavy abrasives. And those abrasives will strip away the protective protein layer on your exposed roots that prevents your teeth from becoming sensitive in the first place. So I'm going to post a link to one of our previous posts where we talked about toothpaste abrasiveness so that way you can make sure that the toothpaste you're using at home has the appropriate level of abrasiveness for your teeth so you don't cause some excess sensitivity. Number two, you want to avoid brushing immediately following meals. And this is something else we've also talked about in recent posts is that after a meal because of acids in the food and acids produced from the bacteria in your mouth, your teeth are going to be a lot softer than they normally would be. And scrubbing on these softer teeth with a toothbrush is going to open up on these exposed root surfaces the pores and in turn the nerves and produce increased levels of tooth sensitivity that you don't really want. So if you want to avoid uh, sensitivity with your teeth, it's really best to go ahead and wait at least 30 minutes following a meal to brush your teeth or use one of the rebalancing rinse, rinse recipes that we've discussed on previous posts. And last but not least, you want to avoid acidic mouthwashes. Now, a lot of mouthwashes have a very low pH to, to uh, increase their shelf life, but the problem with this is that they have a very high erosive component which will strip off the protein layer covering up the pores in your teeth and even widen those pores to the point where your teeth are going to be more sensitive. So if you want to make sure that your teeth don't become sensitive or if you're having a problem with tooth sensitivity, these are three points that you should be looking at in terms of your oral hygiene to reduce your tooth sensitivity. And next week we're going to be talking specifically about different toothpastes that you can incorporate in your hygiene routine to decrease tooth sensitivity. All right, take care everyone.